for Aston Villa with the problems they have it's probably not a good idea to be running into a very rich vein of form that Manchester United are in right now it may not show in that league table but Manchester United have been playing beautifully the last couple of games and I hope to continue it today it's back to first team action for many of the players that were rested against um, it's Newcastle United last time out, but let me tell you, whatever team Moyes seems to put out, it seems to be working. A clean sheet and a fantastic performance up against Newcastle, and I hope to put that on Manchester United, on Aston Villa today. It has been absolutely beautiful to watch Manchester United as the season draws to its halfway stage and the January transfer window. Still speculations over the likes of Nani and Darren Fletcher. Uh, Nani in particular, who misses another game. It's, it, is, it is kind of rumoured that I think people will be coming in for Nani during the January transfer window. One has to say the club might be glad to get rid of him because this weather saga is somewhat ridiculous. It really is. Um, I have to be honest, it does look like the most odd and ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Uh, considering that Nani is, uh, has been in the Premier League for a good few years now, he's been in England for a good few years, and the weather is troubling him, that sounds a bit weird to me, and I think I think Nani would want out. He just wants out for the sake of it, I think. Well, Shane given the Aston Villa goalkeeper missing out, which is uh, rather unusual. But um, there he is, as he watches on, as his team prepare for the kickoff. Uh, there is uh, Brad Friedel, as always. Well, here we go then. Manchester United looking to another. Fantastic victory. Let's find out. Hernandez starts in place of Van Persie today. Van Persie thought uh, they earned the rest. Uh, Giggs has earned the rest as well. Giggs played beautifully in the last game against Newcastle, and it has to be wondered. I mean, Giggs hasn't confirmed retirement, but the fact that he's hinting at it is now becoming a bit strange considering Giggs has turned off a torn car muscle and an LC, uh, a previous injury and has actually played some of the best football in his career. Uh, two goals in the Premier League so far. One has to wonder, is he thinking of doing the right thing? Is it right? I mean, he's, he's turned, he turned 40 a couple of months ago. So he's in an age where footballers tend to think about retiring. So you can't blame him for thinking it, but um, future prospects are all looking good for United anyway, with the likes of Fellaini and Yanazai and some of the uh, younger talent, Jesse Lingard as well. Some players returning from there, possibly Bebe. You know. It's all looking good. To be united, it's just all looking rosy right now for them. Fletcher starts a game again today, and uh, Darren Fletcher's the one we need to watch, really, because no word has been said from him, but he was out, but he wants out. And uh, like, like we said in earlier broadcast, Darren Fletcher, I can't imagine that coming from him, considering the fact that United have been so good to him. Uh, during all this injury and uh, illness stuff that Fletcher has suffered over the last two or three years. And one has to wonder whether he's kind of biting the hand that feeds, I guess, but nothing from Darren Fletcher yet. We won't make judgment unless Darren Fletcher actually comes out and says it himself. One Vula is a new signing for Aston Villa, but uh, Villa, Villa do miss Benteke, but um, I think he's also... Uh, one of the team, uh, one of the players that could be moving in the January window. So many players look like moving, and uh, I think the one for Manchester United has to be Nani. He's missing another game, and that Daniel is keeping out of the squad. And uh, with this weather nonsense, uh, one has to wonder if David Moyes is going to have to force his hand and tell him to buck up or be out. I mean, they have come out and said that this kind of stuff is ridiculous, considering the situation that Nani's in. Let's not forget Nani's been in the Premier League for a good few years now. It's not like Nani's not just come here. Not a new signing. One has to wonder what he's up to. And if an offer comes in for Nani, will Moyes take it? That's the question. Anyway, here's Leighton Baines for Manchester United. That's going to belong to that foot. Here's uh, Anna Zai. Be teeing up for a shot, but uh, it is all looking good for United. The prospects are high, the future is very bright for some of these players, particularly Anyanyan, who's been a revelation of the club. 
comes Valencia with uh, Hernandez in front. Valencia doesn't need him. This is the corner. Valencia will take. He's going down to take it right now. Here we go. And header for Fellaini hits the bar. And Vidic. And there's a mix-up at the box and it's finally cleared by United. And look at this. Weidman has actually come up for Aston Villa but doesn't really go anywhere with it. He's running to Wayne Rooney, that's always a problem. Here's Baines. Rooney. And Rooney. Forces a save and rebounding all over the place. It won't count. It won't count. There is a foul against Hernandez and that is a clear foul. Valencia, I think it was to put it in, but it won't count. Foul against Manchester United, free kick. And uh, that's strange. From the goal kick, and as the other player is offside. Wow, that's a poor decision. What on earth was that guy thinking? He might have been vibing, if anybody. Down Fletcher. And Azar. Banks. And as I again. Apparently there was uh, some form of uh, education between Young uh, last time and against Newcastle. Some saying that the reason he started is because he pleaded with uh, David Moyes that he was better than Yanazai. <laughs> so it seems that Moyes is doing everything right, but the players just aren't happy with what they're doing. It sounds very unusual. The only one that is overly happy is probably Aaron Hemmer of all people. But he loves the club, so. And uh, we have a corner coming in for Manchester United as it's probably thrown up towards the back of the goal, and this could cost the other here. Headed in by, uh, I think that was Vidic, but uh, nothing doing. Manchester United are playing beautifully this season. The second half of the season is going to be very interesting to see what United can do. And if they do tra uh, transfer away Nanny, will they bring someone else in? I can tell you firsthand that they probably will be not be uh, transferring Fletcher. But, um, here is Baker for Villa. And uh, brilliant to tackle by Hernandez. Rooney comes in. Hernandez finds him. He tries to keep it under control and passes out to Valencia instead, but he gives it away. Brilliant tackle by Baines. He managed to keep it, unfortunately, but it is brilliant tackle. Manchester United's defence has really been bad at the last couple of games. Two consecutive clean sheets and brilliant defending against Newcastle. It really was. Manchester United, every time they lost the ball, they had the such desire to go back and get it. And the players like Rooney on your team, that's uh, very common every day. But Rooney didn't play against... Uh, Against Newcastle, fair enough. Even Wayne Rooney needs his rest. For someone who moves around a lot like Rooney does. Here's Yanazai with a shot. Which straight into Guzman's arms, but Yanazai's up for this. So many Manchester United players, it, it, makes, it makes no sense how Manchester United players cannot be happy with their roles. I mean, they're playing for one of the best clubs in the world. They're definitely not the best club in the world. I mean, there's Barcelona, there's Real Madrid. You know, many, many Manchester United players go on to Real Madrid, and some say it's because of money. Might have a point. Yanazai tries again. Yanazai is going to beat Guzman eventually if he keeps this up. Yanazai is playing his socks off. And Belgium is certainly staking a claim for the first team. And uh, on uh, Blacklid, Blacklid was obviously added to the transfer list in the last window. But by the time they'd actually put him there, because they did have a lot of left backs, they have Nanny, if, uh, not Nanny, uh, Baines, Evra, and Fabio left back already, along with Alexander Buntner as well. So, so many left backs, someone probably has to miss out, and Blacklid was obviously going to. He only played a few minutes in the, uh, the uh, League Cup uh, round of uh, 16 up against um, Colchester United, but when Ben Amos was sent off, Blacklight was the one that was sacrificed, so Tyler Blacklight is uh, not looking rosy for the club right now, and rarely knows who he is, 
and uh, I think Manchester United fans are not even going to really care. Oh, and oh, saved by De Gea. Villa get into the uh, United area. Fabian Delft there. It's going to be a United cor uh, Villa corner. Yes, it is. De Gea give their hand to it. So it's Charles and Zobia to take it. The, the move around player, as people call him these days. Down Fletcher. It is the way, but only as far as uh, I think it was in Zofia actually. And Vidic comes up with it and uh, slides it out towards the halfway line. That ball is being chased by Wayne Rooney. And here's in Zofia with Fellaini covering. Good headed away by Vidic. And Fellaini gets it. Here's Hernandez. Yanazai making a run in front. And then this finds him beautifully. And here's Adan Yanazai. And he's pulled down. No foul given. And it's Villa. Got away with one there. And it should be a corner, but the referee is signaling a goal kick. I'm sure Yanazai was Yanazai was tugged there. Well, Ryan Giggs, uh, David Moyes, thought the guy deserved a rest. He played absolutely wonderfully against Newcastle. Played the entire game, played really well, and I think Moyes said, like, he deserves a rest. You know, he is getting up there in years as Manchester United. Seem to be all over this game as well as the last one. And, uh, I have to feel that Manchester United are going to score sooner or later. They are going to be the threat to score first, you have to say. Here's my move. Goal kick. Rooney. Flicks it to Hernandez, but that pass doesn't come off for Rooney. He's not known for passing. He's known for running. Konzak. Konzak to uh, Villa, but uh, given away by Valeni, but then Valeni gives it away. Rooney. Valencia. Valeni. Valeni's going to play in Hernandez. That's a fantastic pass. Javier Hernandez scores. It was coming. You knew it was coming. Fellaini with an absolutely beautiful pass. And Javier Hernandez, who normally is the super sub for Manchester United, also linked with a move away. But Javier Hernandez plays his subs up there. And scores. And it was coming for Manchester United, it really was, you can see it. Manchester United building in confidence. Javier Hernandez makes it Aston Villa nil. Manchester United won. This Manchester United side cannot be stopped at the moment. They are playing beautifully and the rest of the three ahead of them need to be watching over their shoulder because this team is on fire right now. This team cannot be, cannot be stopped. Two consecutive clean sheets, one in the League Cup, one in the League. And uh, it has been absolutely beautiful to watch Manchester United over the last few games. On Villa, uh, and Zoppia, he's going to have a lot to do from down there. What is it though? And the header is wide. Villa comes straight back perhaps. Well Villa obviously grew up in from the loss of Stylian Petrov to retirement. We all do wish Stylian Petrov a speedy recovery from leukemia. It is an awful time for him. And uh, we all wish him all the best in his recovery. Aston Villa fans certainly love him. What beautiful movement by Manchester United again. Absolutely fantastic. There is no stopping this Manchester United side at the moment. They're on fire. Every single one of them is in top form. Hernandez with this corner for some unpredictabilities. Well, any head is it. He goes out for another corner. Manchester United owning the game at the moment again. Here comes Yanazai with this corner. Different corner takers. It's nice. Rooney. Trying to head it back in. Valeni was watching. Nothing uh, coming of it. And Sealer for Aston Balloon. Leighton Baines. And Azai. Lost out to Inzobia. Rooney. And Azai. Brilliant control, brilliant shot. Four minutes of added time in the first half. Kind of unusual. Normally see four minutes. Manchester United caught it in any case. And decide to take this one. 
and it is nowhere from Johnny Evans. Aston Villa chance for a break perhaps, but Valencia stops it in his tracks, but then gives it away. Here's Weidman on the hook. So they're finally getting to their own half. Just, you know, he's defending his spot on again. Not often you've had to say, got to say that this season, but United have been spot on in terms of defence. It's a brilliant tackle by Johnny Evans, even though it does go out for a bit of throw. And just United are just stopping Villa wherever they can. Here's Luna. And she gives it to Rooney. Hernandez. Rooney. Has seen a gap. Wayne Rooney when he runs. You might as well just stay behind. Wayne Rooney scores at the end of the first half. Manchester United up by two goals to nil once again. Manchester United playing absolutely spectacular football. Unselfish passing all the way. Hernandez found the gap and Wayne Rooney, like we said, once he runs, just stands still. You're never going to catch him. It's 2-0 Manchester United. It's brilliant play. And uh, that will probably be it for the first half. It is. Fantastic Manchester United at the moment. No one can stop them. They're on such a roll. Aston Villa nil, Manchester United 2. There's nothing more to even say about that first half. But fantastic for Manchester United. And uh, the other three ahead of them are going to be looking over and thinking, oh my goodness, here they come. It's Manchester United. The comeback is on, perhaps. But they will have another half to go here at Villa Park. But it's Aston Villa nil, Manchester United 2. Manchester United in total command of this one as well.